Welcome to the Legacy Lounge. I'm Amanda Stein, and I'm here with Martin Brodeur, who has been recently named this morning Executive Vice President of Hockey Operations. Marty, how does that sound to you? Uh, you've come a long way since you know you were drafted in one of these photos here. Uh, you know, it's great. You know, I think I've been uh, I've been around uh, you know the the hockey team here for the last few years, and so definitely to make it more official and uh, being part of uh, the solution to. <laughs> to try to get this team to the next level. I'm uh, definitely excited to be part of it. One of the things that you were doing prior to this, because now you're going to solely focus on hockey, is you were also looking at the business side. At what point for you did you decide, you know, I want to be part of that hockey operations full time? Well, you know, when, when I retired, I, I, I did that in, in St. Louis for, for three years, three and a half years, and uh, really enjoyed it, but it was mm -hmm. time consuming with, with Evan Max, my, my little one, to be like eight years old or whatever at the time. It, it was kind of hard on the family part, and so I kind of took a step back, um, got here in New Jersey on the business side, I could have a little more leeway and, and, yeah. and enjoy my family. Uh, but now I think it's time for me to kind of dig back in. And so I'm excited for the opportunity that, uh, that Tom is giving me uh, in the organization uh, and you know, looking forward to it. And what were those conversations like? Obviously, you know, we know who you are in the franchise, in the league, but just in terms of what did you want Tom Fitzgerald to know about what you wanted to contribute and how you wanted that working relationship to go? Yeah, I mean, since since he took took over, you know, I've been uh, alongside him uh, and doing on the business side mm -hmm. some some of the stuff. But I think he's kind of learned my character and, and what I believe in hockey, and must have must have liked what he saw. <laughs> and so, uh, no, this is an exciting time. I think the Devils are are, uh, are a team that that obviously, you know, I grew up, you know, being a Devil, yeah. played for them, had success, and. And for our fans, I want them to, to, to see that again. We, we got a little little clip right now of, of our success. Uh, there's a lot more to, to you know to, to go forward with, but uh, I'm just excited about the opportunity that, that Tom is uh, giving me. One of the things in the press release was you know you're going to touch on all aspects of hockey, um, whether it's you know development, all kinds of things. What sort of excites you about that, where you're going to have your hands in a little bit of everything? Oh, the, the like the pro side is the the, the final touch yeah. of, of the organization, but the amateur side is somewhere that that you know we we draft kids, we develop in them, and next thing you know they take this time and they come in, and now next thing you know they succeed in the NHL. And I think as a player, that was one of the f things that I love is mm -hmm. like to to sit there play goalie and they say, hey, we call up this kid, and this kid comes in scores his first <laughs> goal in the NHL. It's exciting, yeah. you know? So when you have your hands in, on, on all facets of, of the organization, it's something that is uh, pretty, uh, you, know, uh, you know, because you're so used to, as a hockey player, to contribute <laughs> to something, but when you see a kid, that's your contribution uh, as, a, you know, as an executive. I like that. I like how you know you always want to be part of that success, and once you retire, this is your way of of continuing to do that. Let's talk a little bit about where the team is right now. What has you know impressed you so much about the way things are going that gets you excited to get on board in that official way? Well, yeah, I think you know we, we know that we had a good team. You know, we have a lot of good players, but they, everybody needs to grow a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, as far as getting some more experience and, and obviously adding a few pieces here and there helped, I think, our growth to maybe get a little quicker where mm -hmm. we're at. Uh, but it's just nice to see like how like the coaching staff and, and the players and everybody is one team now. It's not disconnected. Everybody's connected. And uh, you know, it's looking good, and we have a long ways to go. We're still a young, younger team, uh, but again, you know, it's nice to see the early uh, success. What is that significance of being connected like that? Well, you know, it's, it's everybody's on the same page. Like we're talking one language, you know, and, and everybody understands. You know, everybody knows exactly what, what their roles are, uh, regardless if you're a player, you're a coach, you're management. You know, we. You know, we worked a lot on, on culture uh, mm -hmm. during this training camp, and that's, I think that's the most important part. It's like we're building something not for today. We're building for the future. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we're, at, we're in a good place. We just got to continue doing what we're doing. One of the things I noticed when reading the press release is that in addition to all those things that you're going to be doing, there's that new little piece in scouting that you might have your hand in a little bit. Um, you know, you talk about building and foundations and, and blocks like that. What kind of role is that going to entail for you, and how do you sort of see that fitting into what you're doing? 
Well, you know, it, it, it's it's one of those things that you know the team goes on the road. We, you know, I live in the Midwest, so I, I'm able to touch <laughs> a lot of teams in like you know from Nashville to Chicago to St. Louis to, yep. to Minnesota. That that sometimes it's kind of hard place to you know for our scouting department to get to, but also with the gold uh, the goaltending uh, department. You know, I mean, yep. th these are things that we have to make sure that we're on top of everything if need be you know it's been it's been a, a you know a, a, a tough run on goalies <laughs> <laughs> that's easy to say actually it's, you know and but we have to you know pay attention to that and uh, that's going to be part of my role is to, to make sure that we double check you know Clemmer uh, Scott Clemenson mm -hmm. is in charge and he's doing a great job but uh, you know I'm going to be uh, you know assisting him also on, on that part of it all right, I have to ask because you brought up goaltenders. Um, your thoughts on the way VTech is playing and how important that has been, especially with McKenzie now out? Listen, we, we've made a plan two years ago and they all failed. <laughs> and so we're definitely excited about VTech, the way he's been playing. You know, I think uh, Corey Crawford, you know, unfortunately, he had to retire. Bernie had the surgery. Now, yeah. now we, you know, we committed to VTech and, and, McKenzie gets hurt, he gets the opportunity to kind of show what he has. And, and what I like about him, it's, it's all about compete. Yeah. You know, he goes in there and, he, you know, he, it does, it's not pretty every single game, but you know what, he, he makes the big saves at the right time, he competes in traffic, and uh, that's what we needed. Just, you know, just give us some good goaltending. And, you know, the, we have a good hockey team, and it's been hard you know, because we got plagued with so many injuries yeah. and, and some subpar play at times. But uh, we're, we're actually looking, uh, looking good right now. Well, thank you, Marty. Appreciate this. Congratulations on the new role. And I know that all of our fans and everyone involved are happy to have you here long term. I am excited. <laughs> so thank you.